Hello children, in the last video we read the poem Roger the Dog. Let's read the poem again and discuss it in detail. Asleep he wheezes at his ease. He only wakes to scratch his fleas. He hogs the fire, he bakes his head. As if it were a loaf of bread. He's just like a sack of snoring dog. You can lug him like a log. You can roll him with your foot. He'll stay snoring where he's put. Children, can you see these four lines here? Four lines in a poem is called a stanza. So this is the first stanza and this is the second stanza. So children, what do these two stanzas tell us about Roger? Children, we get to know that Roger is a very lazy and a sleepy dog. He will sleep all day and only wakes up if he wants to eat something or the fleas disturbs him. He hogs the fire and bakes his head. What does this line mean? Children, this means that Roger likes to keep himself warm. So he takes away all the fire and behaves as if he's actually baking his head like a loaf of bread. He's always in such a deep sleep that even if you lug him, that means drag him like a log or roll him with your foot, he would keep sleeping and snoring. Now let's read the next two stanzas of the poem. I take him out for exercise. He rolls in cow clap up to his eyes. He will not race, he will not roam. He saves his strength to gobble and chomp. He will work as hard as you could wish, emptying his dinner dish. Then flops flat and digs down deep, like a miner into sleep. Children, the poet says in these lines that Roger does not like to go out to, for exercising. He will do all kinds of tantrums, he will he will make himself dirty in cow clap, but still he will not do any in any kind of exercise. And you know why he does that? He does that to save his energy to gobble his food. He would work hard only when he wants to finish every bit of food in his dinner dish. And after finishing his food, he would be very tired and will sleep like a miner again. Children, can you see how lazy Roger is? That's right. Now children, I would like you to pay attention to a few things in the poem. Children, what do you notice about how the poem sounded? Did it remind you of anything? Did you see a pattern of rhyming words? Children, rhyming words are the words having similar sound. For example, ease, fleas, head, bread, dog, log, foot and put. So children, I would like to tell you about what rhyming scheme is. Rhyming scheme is a pattern of words at the end of each line of the poem. We label rhyming scheme using letters of the alphabet like A, B, C, etc. Now see, here for example, in the first line we have E's and in the second line we have fleas. Do you think these two rhyme with each other? That's right. Since this is the first rhyme, we will label it as A. Now see the second line. The second rhyme is head and bread. Is it similar to the first rhyme? No. So we will label it as B. This pattern is called a rhyme scheme. We can call this rhyme scheme as AA, BB. Which means that the first two lines rhyme with each other and the second two lines rhyme with each other. Why do you think poet uses rhyme scheme? Children, rhyme scheme makes the poem easier to remember and more fun to read. Now I would like you to read the poem again and think about the rhyme scheme of the other three stanzas. Children, the poet has used one more very interesting figure of speech in it. 
You're right. Simile. You can lug him like a log is an example of a simile. The poet has used the word like to compare Roger with a log. We will learn about similes more in my next video. But till then, I want you to find out another comparison that the poet has used for Roger in the poem. Children, the notebook work for the poem will be shared with you on WhatsApp. I would like you to solve those questions in your notebook. Till then, stay safe and stay happy. God bless you all. Take care.